Let's try something new. I have been pretty much from the beginning of the channel unsatisfied with showing the interiors of new books. And this time I don't have the physical book because it's brand new, it's PDF only. And I thought we'll combine this exploration of different ways to do things with a new release from Brabblemark Press. In other words, from Mark Plemons, who's brought us games like Corporea and Mashed. Well, this one, as you can see, is called Zyborg Commando Resurrection Overdrive. And if we can <laughs> find a title that packs more punch than that, um, that would be pretty amazing. I mean, look at this. This is like a movie poster, right? We have our, our titular... Commando striding right out of the screen. We can see Bravo Mark Press down there where the credits go. You can see the author. And then different tags for what we can expect from the game, like hard suit armor, bug war, alien invasion, horror, zombie apocalypse, and Hollywood tactics, which just made me laugh as soon as I as I saw it. It says this war will eat you alive. So guess what the Z means in Cyborg? and take a look at the face. Okay, where does the idea for a game like this come from? I don't know. <laughs> so let's let's find out. Here's our first suggestion. We're coming to avenge you, Barbara. I mean, raise your hand. Raise your hand if you have seen Night of the Living Dead. All right, so zombie warriors. So taking a look at the first Inside pages, we've got the table of contents. One of the major strengths that I noticed about Corporea when it came out was how effective the table of contents was. Everything was all hyperlinked in the PDF. It was color-coded and very clear about what it was that you were looking at it. So here we have the contents. Page 5, creation. Start designing your undead warrior of the apocalypse. That's cool. Uh, next Page 21, Equipment. Learn about weapon damage and build your arsenal. Page 27, Combat. Discover tactics and teamwork for moves, attacks, and defense. 34, Remnants. Complete your design with what remains of your former life. <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny, but I do. Uh, I'm already getting pretty, <laughs> pretty interested in making a character. 39, Decay. Learn how to improve your abilities while losing your humanity. <laughs> Sign up today. See the world. GM Tools on page 41. A detailed guide to setting scenes and running the game. 55. Enemies. Sample adversaries with mix and match modifications. That sounds nice. Index on page 74. Your handy guide to page flipping. And the licenses on page 75. We'll take a look at them in a bit. And then page 76 is the character sheet. And the PDF comes with two character sheets, a flat one and a foldable one. So, all right. Now, on the facing page, on page three, we have our introduction. And this is basically a one full column of questions. And I love this in a role-playing game. It not only tells you what the designer is thinking about, but it also gives you things to think about. And as you start wondering yourself about the questions, you can figure out, do I want to play this game? Who do I want to play this game with? And when playing this game, what is it that I will start out, at least, wanting to do with it? Right, so it's a pretty effective method for communicating all of those things all at once, which makes it a lot faster and more efficient to make those decisions and then connect them with the holy trinity of dealing with fellow gamers. Talking with them, this helps you know what to talk with them about. Choosing the right game, how can you possibly know from the cover right, what the game is going to be like to play? And, hey man, do you want to play this game? It's got a great cover. And then, three, don't be a part of the problem, be part of the solution. Often paraphrased as, don't be a dick. So, it opens up with, Welcome to the unhinged fever dream that is Cyborg Commando Resurrection Overdrive. A bizarre, post-apocalyptic RPG of horror and alien invasion. Of zombie soldiers and powered hard suits. Humanity and inhumanity. Secrets 
and just blasting the holy expletive out of some giant bugs. Pretty awesome. And then, second paragraph, he says, I made this game because... And then it turns into this tidal wave of questions. Finishing off with, I know that's a lot of questions, and I don't really have the answers for you. Take my rotting hand, and let's explore together. Very cool. There's all kinds of references in here, not just to Barbara from Night of the Living Dead, but to the misfits and a variety of other things. There's a little bit of parody going on and uh, a whole lot of fun. What kind of game is it? Well, let's find out. <laughs> Join up! All right. We've got creation. Time to create your undead warrior of the future is not a sentence I'd ever thought I'd type. <laughs> right on. So, it's only make-believe. That's pretty entertaining to have to say. There's also a funny copyright notice that this is a work of fiction. <laughs> no, the zombies aren't real. So choose a faction, choose your game master, grab your gear. The horror business, rolling the dice. You're going to have three statistics, brains, flesh, and metal. When you act, choose one stat that best fits your action. And if a skill, like engineering, influence, or hand weapons also applies, add the stat plus skill numbers together. The total result is your chance to succeed. We're going to call this a difficulty check. Next, roll two 10-sided dice and multiply the results. This rule is abbreviated as D10X. You read the zero face as 10, and you do not roll for mundane actions. You roll only when failure has a consequence. All right. So, D10X. Roll the dice, roll the two dice, and multiply the results. The difficulty is your stat plus skill. Seems pretty cool. If the result is higher than your DC, you fail. So rolling less than or equal to. The result of a failed roll stands until the situation changes. So fail to shoot out a lock. Do not just re-roll to shoot the lock out again. Try a different approach. <laughs> Try an engineering roll to breach it or use a corpse's eyeball on a retinal scan. <laughs> but shooting it out is no longer an option. So you can already tell this is a lot of fun to just read. Um, there's a good sense of humor going on. Plus, it's also extremely clear. Right? Short sections, rolling the dice, success with a cost, saving throws, opposed rolls, advantages and disadvantages, critical success and failure, the doubles rule. That's page 8 and page 9. Stats and skills are page 10 and 11. Our stats, remember, are brains, flesh, and metal. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Assists. Okay. Reducing time. Skills for building, constructing, and repairing. Other skill notes. Derived abilities. The hunger. Let's talk about the hunger. This is a zombie game after all. It opens up with you should discuss boundaries like gore and body horror before playing, but if someone wants to tone it down later, respect that too. So, what is this an example of? This is how a functional group functions together. This is one of the things that you can expect from a group that knows each other and plays together. It's a little harder to do this when playing out there in the wild with strangers, but we need to be on our best behavior with strangers. Don't you think? I mean, it's not like we all come from our own separate planets. We are all really one big group of the same big species. It's not like we can each stand on our own against the impending alien invasion, right? You should discuss boundaries like gore and body horror before playing, but if someone wants to tone it down after that, respect that too. If they need to take a break or walk away, that's okay. What affects someone else may seem trivial to you, but it does matter to them. No game is more important than someone's mental health. So. This is a fine example of being part of the solution, not being part of the problem. In other words, not being a dick. <sighs> That's all we're going to say about that. You get racked by the hunger on each critically failed save. And refers us back to page 9 to know what saves are. 
But giving you hunger can also be a GM tactic, something they impose when you get a critical failure, suffer massive damage, or otherwise fail spectacularly. Weave it into the gameplay and use it to inspire your actions. All right. And of course, by hunger, we're actually talking about eating other people, people who are still alive. All right. Torments. Trust, dark shadows. And then we move into the equipment section. So the first, from page 5 to page 20, is character creation. With each single page having something cogent and coherent to say and give you some simple steps or teach you something about how the game is going to work. Pretty simple. Then we get into equipment. And we've got pictures. And we've got a very simple chart. <laughs> Join the Cyborg Command. As you can tell, this is a parody. Uh, in case I didn't say it already, this is a parody of Cyborg Commando from long, long ago. But it's not just that. It's also inspired by an awful lot of, of things. I mean, there's a pretty strong sense of Starship Troopers in here, isn't there? Combat. Die, monster, die. So we have our combat section. That's nice and exciting looking. Very agile dead fellow in his, in his body armor. Hit location, tactics and teamwork. <laughs> Up close and personal with our rotting corpse face. Nice. Okay. Remnants. What remnants of your former life do you retain? And for how long? Dust to dust. So we've got keepsakes, military service, and memories. Uh, list one keepsake on your character sheet's brain diagram. Note your military service on your character sheet. And using the brain diagram on your character sheet, write a memory in each sector, or use or expand the suggestions already provided. So you can see on page 35, there's a huge list. Okay, then we get into decay. True death is the rapid and inevitable end of all Zyborg commandos. Okay, then GM tools. Mommy, can I go out and kill tonight? <laughs> so is this reminding you? Have these chapter titles reminding you of anything? I should hope so, but I suppose. Strategic. Make combat feel tense. Go with the flow. Create scenarios, not paths. Amen. Operational. Right? When you interact, do these things. Encourage them to put flesh in the bones. Give them stakes to care about. That's also something I would say to the players. Care about the stakes. Find a way through the vehicle of your character to connect with those stakes to make, uh, to make play make sense. All kinds of good stuff in here. Tactical. Objectives and threats, trade goods. Then we get into the enemy section, which I'm I'm not going to show. But uh, anyway, so skipping through the enemy section. Okay, so here we are back at the index. So the GM sections are marked in italics. That makes that particularly easy to use. It's a clever idea. I like it. So index, and then on the other page we have licenses. So I also used or modified icons from the Noun Project, from the nounproject.com, and these need attribution. Thanks to the artists for putting their work out there. So that's them. All right. Pretty slick. And then the sheet. So there's the folded sheet you can see on page 76, the left page, and then the flat sheet on the right page. Okay. And then we go through the brain diagram and other aspects. It would be criminal not to zoom in on the character sheet. And so that's exactly what we're doing. So like I just said, we have a foldable and a flat character sheet. This is the flat that we're looking at right now. We'll take a look at the foldable at the end. Okay, so Zyborg Commando Resurrection Overdrive. We have our different focus, right? And we can just check these circles next to the icon for each. We have things like name, service, hard suit, uh, hard suit color, hard suit st style, uh, bulky, mismatched, sleek, or other, right? Lots of prompts. There's lots of these hidden prompts. Hard suit appearance, fractured, pitted, cracked, pristine, other, all right? Then we come down here to a really, really interesting part for me. This is your heads-up display. It's described as being very similar to what the actual Zyborg Commandos would see in their hard suits, but for us, it makes a pretty useful framework to interact with 
as our character sheet. All right, we have information for our weapons, we have each of our three stats, our brains, our flesh, and our metal, plus the skills that go along with them. And then we have information along the bottom about uh, what can go wrong, such as I need, I need to destroy a memory, uh, I've rolled a critical failure, spending trust, and, and all these things. All right, so that's, that's pretty slick. So in the foldable version, which I'll show in a second, this can be facing you in an upright position, much like a heads-up display. All right, so it's pretty cool. But it gets cooler, because what is this that we're looking at? This is your brain. Right? And you can see how it's exploding out of the top, and it's all made of these... You know, these shapes, these different pieces, and they're all linked together, and it's all representative of memory, such as how you died, or who your best friend is, or places that you've lived, right? And as the game continues, and as you do things like rolling critical failures, you wipe out a memory. I think this is absolutely fantastic, and to portray it visually in front of you, that is really slick. Then we have your shadow, right? Why I'm a danger to my team. It's very bald, <laughs> very bold, just one strip right across the screen there. Why I'm a danger to my team. Then we have our list of torments and then personal notes. All right, so this is the flat character sheet. I think that is, well, that's pretty fantastic. All right, so just to jump over here to the foldable sheet, this is how it's presented to you. All right, so on one page, you have the actual character traits and information, and you have the HUD, and then on the second page, you have your brain diagram and notes and torments. Not bad at all. All right, the end, question mark. And this is the back page. Right, of the PDF version, expecting two to five players. Right, so once again, this is from Brabble Mark Press. Always a nice read. The year was 2087. Giant alien arthrobots swarmed the planet, strip mining its resources and wiping out its population. It's one desperate hope. An army of troopers in advanced hard suits was destroyed. The war was lost. Time passed. Then came the good news, whispered among the dying fires of humanity. Some of these cyber soldiers returned, clawing their way back up from the rubble and out of the darkness with revenge in their hearts. The bad news is, they're no longer under anyone's command. And they're hungry. <laughs> that's, just, that's entertaining. So... If you're at all interested in zombies, if you remember the movie Universal Soldier, if you have a sense of humor, if you like the Misfits, um, give the game a try. It's well organized. It's well edited. It's, it's very clear. The text is entertaining. The art is appropriate and of a theme. I think this would look fantastic in print. And there you go. Zyborg Commando Resurrection Overdrive. Okay. Thanks for watching. Take care.